Hey there! So this is my top 12 of 2012 video. Um, this is kind of replacing my end of the year favorites, especially since um, when I planned to do my end of the year favorites, it ended up being way too long and it ended up being way too many products, so I kind of really scaled it down to, well, it's only supposed to be 12 products, but I actually ended up with 15 because, you know, I'm a little bit excessive like that, but um, it still kind of is a lot of products, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, throughout this past year, some of my favorite cleansers have been the Soy Face Cleanser by Fresh and the the Ultimate Cleanser 3-Way Clean by Garnier. And so these have been my two favorite cleansers this past year. Um, this one has been basically sort of like my favorite scrub sort of cleanser. It also works as a mask, so you can use it in the shower as a mask or like even outside of the shower. But it works really well and gets your face super, super clean. And then the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser is my favorite cleanser for removing all of your makeup and everything at the end of the day. Especially works well with a face scrubbing brush. And then um, aside from that, in terms of more towards face products, um, so I've tried a variety of different kind of BB creams, especially those drugstore BB creams like the Maybelline one, and the L'Oreal one, and the Garnier one, but I've really gravitated towards using the Asian brands of BB creams, and so one that I've loved so much that I haven't really had the chance to mention in videos has been the Misha M um, Perfect Cover BB Cream in number 27, Honey Beige. And this is actually a tad bit too dark for me, but it works out really, really, really well. I mean, dark. It's a tad bit too light for me. But it works really well when I mix it in with a little bit of concealer, and so it has excellent coverage. It does brighten up your face and has really nice um, texture to it, and it makes your face feel really nice and soft. So I really love this, especially for days when I just want to wear one thing on my face and just have, like, a little bit of coverage. So, And then in terms of foundation, a couple of foundations that I've had this year that have been my favorites have been the Makeup Forever HD foundation and I'm in the shade 170 and then the Revlon Color Stay um, for combination to oily skin in 310, oh, 370 Toast. And so these have been my favorite foundations throughout the year. I know they look a little bit different in terms of color but they both match me very well so I really love both of these. Um, I have had the Revlon, I mean Revlon, the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I've been repurchasing it ever since like 2009-2010 so I've been really loving this for a significant amount of time and so it's been continuing to be one of my favorites. And then the Revlon Colorstay I actually only, repur uh, I only uh, decided to purchase it this year and it, this has been out for a long 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 time and I've heard so many great things about it but it was only up until this past year where I decided to pick this up and I've been loving it so 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 much so I definitely recommend it, especially for a good drugstore affordable foundation. This is fantastic. And then moving on with sort of like related to foundation, um, I've been loving the Sonia Kashuk blending sponge, and I apologize, it's like super dirty, but I use it to apply my foundation today. And but this is sort of like a dupe for the beauty blender, although um, I've heard that this one is a little bit more durable than that one. But it's like it's about ten dollars at Target. It's by Sonia Kashuk. And so basically what you use this for is to, um, you uh, moisten it with some water and then you can use it to put on your foundation. I feel it gives the most flawless, uh, most airbrush looking perfect finish to your foundation. So it works amazingly. And so when you dampen it, it actually causes it for um, the sponge not to absorb as much product. And so that's why this product is amazing. And moving along, um, I've found my new favorite uh, pressed like pressed powder uh, powder foundation this past year and so that has been the Neutrogena um, Mineral Shears powder foundation and I'm in the shade Honey Beige number 70. So I picked this up this year and it's a very good um, color match for my skin tone. I highly highly recommend this although um, I haven't had problems with breaking out from this but I have heard some people have issues with that but I have very highly sensitive skin and so um, the fact that I didn't break out from this was pretty surprising to me, and I'm happy that I found a good drugstore um, like powder foundation because I know most of the other powder foundations out there that are really good are by like higher end brands. So um, the fact that I found this in the drugstore is pretty fantastic. Although for a drugstore powder foundation or a pressed powder, this is a little bit more expensive because it's Neutrogena. For most of their products are a little bit more on the higher drugstore price point range, but 
I definitely recommend this. Very good quality for being a drugstore product. Um, and then aside from that, some other sort of face related products in terms of cheek products um, I discovered this past year were the drugstore blushes that are out there. And from before then, I've only been really using like sort of like MAC or NARS or a little bit more higher end type of blushes. But then this year I discovered the um, Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes. And this one is in the shade um, Pearlescent Pink. And this one is in Mellow Wine. So Pearlescent Pink is sort of just like a peachy, shimmery pink color. And then Mellow Wine is sort of like a mauvey pink color. But both of them are very excellently, excellently pigmented and go on very smoothly and blend out amazingly. So I highly recommend these. And then a couple other blushes from the drugstore that are fantastic that I found throughout this year have been the Milani Baked Blushes. And so I have them over here in Rose Dioro and Berry Amour. So Rose Dioro is sort of like a rosy pink shade with a gold shimmer running through it. And then um, Berry Amour is sort of like a mauvey berry pink shade. So it's very, very, very pretty. And although they look very shimmery in the pan, um, in the baked like dome, um, they're not. They're actually not all that shimmery on your cheeks, and they do provide a very nice pearly glow to your cheeks. So I highly recommend those blushes as well. So there are very excellent um, blushes at the drugstore. Um, in terms of like eyebrows, I've only been ever like ever for as long as I can remember. I've only used the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit to fill in my brows, and this is just about empty like this one is all gone and this I mean, well like this one is all gone and then this one is like reaching the end and then this was I don't really hardly ever use this one but this is my absolute go-to brow kit and I get so many questions about what I use for my brows and this is it although I found out that this has been discontinued so if you guys have um, anywhere that has this available to you. Um, I think they only make it in one shade, so it's called Ash Brown. Um, but if you guys have it available and you can buy it in drugstores near you, um, I am more than willing to do a swap for any products that are like even up to twice as much as this value. So if you guys um, know about that or have anywhere that you can purchase it, let me know down in the comments or message me here on YouTube. I'd be very willing to do a swap with you if you guys have any of these. But um, moving along with eye products, uh, throughout this past year, I've found my new favorite mascara, and it is the Maybelline, the Colossal um, Cat Eyes Mascara. So it looks like this. And so it looks like the same as the regular Colossal Mascara, although it has the sort of animal print on here. And then the brush is a little bit different in that it's sort of like a curved spoon brush type of um, applicator. So. I really love this mascara. It gives you nice flared, um, separated, defined lashes. Very, very, very good for my um, for my lashes because it actually holds the curl and it gives them nice definition. And so I really love these. Not too much volume on this mascara, but um, I'm looking more towards of a mascara that has um, lengthening qualities. So this one definitely does it for me. So I've been loving this so much ever since I got this. I think like the sort of underdog palette that I've had this year that I've never really got the opportunity to mention to you guys is the Kevin O'Quan palette. This is the Essential Eyeshadow set in palette number six. And I have to say these are probably the most highly pigmented eyeshadows that I've ever tried in my entire life. Um, probably more pigmented than Urban Decay or even MAC eyeshadows, like even combined, or even more than the Makeup Forever eyeshadows. So I highly recommend these. I don't know exactly where you can buy Kevin O'Quan eyeshadows or cosmetic products in general, but this, these eyeshadows are definitely amazing. Um, I always forget about this palette, but whenever I use it and I reach for it in my makeup collection, I'm like so happy that I, I grabbed it and decided to use it for an eye look because it always makes it that much more dramatic or stronger or really adds emphasis on the eyes. So I really love the um, eyeshadow palettes by Kevin O'Quan. But that's pretty much it for like eye products. Um, throughout this year, I've also found my new favorite lipstick. And it is this one by MAC and is in the shade Spirit. So it looks like this. And it's basically sort of like a brown toned um, mauve pink shade. And I have it on my lips right now. It's definitely 
more of a like nude type of lipstick, especially for my skin tone. It shows up very nude on my lips. But I love this lipstick so much. And I actually haven't used a lipstick as often as I use this one. And you can tell that I use it a lot because it usually has the MAC logo all over here. But I use it so often that it all like came off. So it just kind of goes to show how often I reach for this lipstick. I'm not really a lip product type of person, but this lipstick has been amazing and I highly recommend it if you're like more of a deeper complected um, skin tone. I'm like an NW35, so it's a little bit more deep, um, more of a warm skin tone. I have pretty highly pigmented lips. It looks very pretty as sort of like a nude lip on my lips, so I really love this lipstick. And then um, in terms of hand cream, um, I've tried so many different hand creams throughout this year. Um, but the ones that I've been loving more recently, but um, that I've, I've come to find to be my new favorites, have been the ones by L'Occitane. I don't know how, it's pro how you pronounce it, but L'Occitane. I don't know. They look like this. Um, I think you can get them at Sephora, but they also have a store here. Well, um, there's one here in Hawaii at Ala Moana Center. But these are amazing hand creams. They contain shea butter in the, well, I'm not sure if all of them contain shea butter, but the ones that do contain shea butter are fantastic. And this one is my favorite one. Um, the scent is uh, mango flower, and it smells absolutely amazing. And it's really sad because this is a um, limited edition scent, but I'm loving this scent so much. And it feels so smooth and so soft on your hands, and it doesn't have your um, leave your hands oily or greasy at all. Like your hands look like they're just, just regular and like there's nothing on them, but they're nice and moisturized and they stay moisturized for hours. So I really love these hand creams. Um, and then also this year I've discovered my new favorite top coat. And I know I mentioned in my, um, I think I have a favorite top coats video, like my favorite top coats and the nail products video. And it said that in that video that my favorite top coats were Sesh Vite and the Dry Fast Top Coat by Essie. But my new favorite top coat has been the Pro FX um, Quick Dry High Gloss Top Coat. And I got this from Walmart and it was only about $5, but this has lasted me such a long time. I've had this for at least five months, I have to say. And it's like not even reaching the halfway mark. And I feel like this could probably last me through next year if it doesn't start thickening up before then. But it works really, really, really well. I know a lot of people have said that this top coat is difficult to work with because it applies way too much product on your nails that you would need. But if you take the time to kind of scrape it off and let some of the excess drip off, it does deliver a nice um, layer to your nails and then it gives them a nice shine as well. And so I have that on my nails right now. And so I really love the shine that I have on my nails. A lot of people like talk, ask me about my nails and they ask if I have acrylics or if I have gel nails, but they're always my natural nails and it's because I use this top coat and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, but I think that is pretty much it for um, beauty related products for my favorites. A couple of non-beauty related products that are my favorites have been my bracelet. And I mentioned this in a couple of videos, I believe. But it's by Balenciaga, and I bought that this year um, after I graduated high school, I mean high school, college. After I graduated college, I wanted to buy myself something, so this is kind of like my I graduated college present to myself. Um, and so it was kind of a splurge item, and it's it's the leather bracelet with the, the giant or the giant um, hardware on it, which I heard was being discontinued, so I jumped on it and bought it right away. And the fact that they had it with silver hardware is fantastic because I wear a lot of silver jewelry. And this color is, um, it's called Latte, and it matches with pretty much everything in my wardrobe. So, I But um, anyways, my last favorite is um, something you guys probably could have guessed, but it's my bag. And I know I have mentioned this in like at least two to three videos, but I love it so, so, so much. It is the Alexander Wang Rocco Mini Duffel in the black lambskin with the black nickel hardware, which is sort of like gunmetal silvery toned hardware, but I love it so, so, so much. I bought it in August, and this is sort of like, was, was my dream bag for like the past couple of years, and I finally own my dream bag, and so it's so, so amazing and I use it all the time and it goes with everything in my wardrobe and I get so many compliments on it and I'm so happy I bought this. It has been my favorite ever since I got it and it's gonna be my like forever, one of my favorites in my um, in my bag collection. 
even though I bought my Fendi, if you can see it back, it's back there. I bought my Fendi this past year. This has definitely been my absolute favorite bag and it was totally worth the investment and I'm so happy I bought it and I can't even say that enough, but um, I'm probably gonna film a separate video dedicated to the sort of like overview of the bag just so people can kind of have an idea about it because I know there aren't too many like reviews on that bag online and then I'll also be filming an updated what's in my bag video on that bag as well. But anyways, before this video gets super long, um, what's on my nails this week is, I think it's called Eiffel, Eiffel For You or something like that by, um, by L'Oreal and I'm actually surprised with this um, nail polish because L'Oreal nail polishes were never really one of my favorites but I picked a couple of them up recently and the quality is pretty fantastic and they have really good um, shade ranges out there so it's really pretty and I really like it. It's very similar to another nail polish that I own which I get a lot of compliments on and um, speaking of nail polishes I'm gonna have a separate video dedicated to my top five nail polishes of 2012 so that's why I didn't mention any of them featured in this video. But anyways, that is pretty much it. Check out my blog if you guys haven't already. I'll have the link down in the video description. But yeah, anyways, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!